Oh, hey, there you are. Hey, scientists, it's me, Jesse. Welcome back to Neighborhood Nature. Today, we're at Heron's Head Park looking for something really big. It's actually not an animal or a plant. Hey, Jesse, it's... I found it. You found it, Marina? Yeah, come check it out. Let's go take a look. It's the Eco Center. Hello everybody, welcome to Heron's Head Park. My name is Miguel and I'm the Eco Center Manager. Hi Miguel, thank you so much for having us here at Heron's Head Park. We'd love to learn more about what the Eco Center is. So the Eco Center is a sustainably built educational center that focuses on building community and teaching you about the environment through workshops on native plants, nature walks, native events, and public programs. That's awesome. What makes the Eco Center so special? What makes the Eco Center special is that it acknowledges the environmental justices in the Baby Goose Hires Point community. The Eco Center was built by Literacy for Environmental Justice to be sufficient, resilient, and resourceful. There are actually some unique features here at the Eco Center. For example, the Eco Center has a lot of high ceilings and big windows. This allows for a lot of natural sunlight to come in. The Eco Center also has solar panels and solar batteries. That way we don't have to rely on power plants for our electricity. And another question I have for you is, what is a living roof? The Eco Center has a living roof for a variety of reasons. It provides habitat for some of the wildlife here at Heron's Head Park. It reduces storm runoff water by absorbing it in the soil. The living roof also provides insulation to the building, keeping us warm. What is an off-the-grid building? An off-the-grid building is a structure that does not depend on public utilities like electricity or sewage. So for example, here on the Eco Center, we use solar panels to generate electricity and power the building. Also, the Eco Center has an on-site wastewater treatment facility that treats gray water, and we use that water to water our California native garden outside. It's time for an Eco Fact. Did you know that the Eco Center produces less than a kitchen-sized garbage bag full of landfill waste in a year? How much trash do you produce in one year? How about in a week? What about a day? Try to keep track. For this week, can you try to produce less than one bag of waste? If you think this is easy, try to produce less waste for the whole month. How can people practice being waste-free or produce less waste during their day-to-day -day lives? One way to do this is by using reusable products. An example of reusable products are reusable water bottles, reusable containers, reusable bags, and anything else that is not one-time use plastic. So come on out and visit Heron's Head Park, and if you're ever in the area, check out what programming is happening at the Eco Center. Thank you, Miguel, for showing us this awesome location. Hopefully you can come visit Heron's Head Park and take a look at the Eco Center sometime. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Catch us next time on Neighborhood Nature.